All right, we got some exciting news, and I am a little tiny bit late to this party. <clears throat> Excuse me, I uh, am getting over um, probably the coof. Um, a fiance had it, and I got sick shortly afterwards, and I don't really ever get sick, so I never even had a fever or anything, but I definitely am all congested and nasally. So, excuse that, but I saw this video going around on TikTok, and this, by the way, is for a bit. I'm super excited. It's a video I'm working on uh, for n next week, early next week. It'll be out because I'm waiting on some stuff to come in. I got some props and all that, but um, guess who I'm going to pretend to be. Just guess. Just guess in the comments below. But anyway, there was a pygmy right whale spotted and <clears throat> the cool thing about this is it just shows you how little we actually know about what is out there um but i'd never heard about this and i'm sure there's a lot of other animals i've never heard of that people are like oh yeah well, point being is that this juvenile was three meters long so what nine ten feet something like that they only get up to just over 20 feet. And it's still, you know, pretty decent sized animal. But for a whale, that's pretty micro. That's cute. It's like a giant dolphin. And, this, you know, they've there have only been, what, five, I think, is what I read in here. Little known is about the species, but observations have only occurred in the southern hemisphere. It belongs to a family of baleen whales that was thought to be extinct until 2012 so think about that for a second these guys were thought at one point in our lifetimes i'd say 99 percent of you were born before 2012 these guys were thought to not exist anymore that they were all gone until 2012 that's 11 years ago, we didn't think these things were around at all. And now we got video that went viral on the internet of one of these little guys swimming around. And he looks so cute. Like, I would much rather have these guys than dolphins. <sighs> I don't dislike dolphins. They're just a little bit, um, S.A. They, they like to assault people and... If you grow up in an area that has dolphins, you understand that they are way too smart and they are mean. And anyway, it's not about dolphins. This is about the fact that the whole point of this one is that we think we know so much about what's out there, but we have no idea. Like, I am under the impression that there are no megalodons left. I do not believe there are any left. Um... There's multiple reasons for this, but because of stuff like this, I can't discount it. Yes, this is a smaller animal than what a megalodon would be, but there was a point in time where we thought these guys were completely extinct, that there was no more. You just never, I mean, we know how big giant squid get, and giant squid are still uh, a thing, and we know about it, and they pop up every once in a while. Um, and they go on to say that basically there was, um, what looked like prop marks that it could have been hit by a boat at some point, which is very sad. A lot of that stuff happens. This happened at the last day of the year, December 31st. That is pretty sweet. If you ask me, they were paddle boarding and all of a sudden they see a fin coming towards them and they thought it was a shark. And then, then they thought it was a dolphin. They jump in the water, realize what the, f realize it was a whale. But they did not approach the whale, which is good, and it swam near them. So they did the right thing, and they got some video, and they did not release where this was exactly, which is for the best. But um, she was responsible for recording three sightings in January and noted a presence of boats in the area. Wait, picking the right whale as she helped rescue a beached one two years ago at the site. So I guess they keep on coming back to this site, and... I guess so, if they keep on seeing them. So that either means that the, if they were thought to be extinct, that must either mean that their numbers are going up or we were just really dumb. Yeah, a bunch of uh, these encounters were shared with the South 
Australian Museum honoring uh, honorary researcher Dr. Catherine Kemper, who specializes in the species and believes that the animal to be a newly weaned male. That's cool. A bit of a hot spot for, for pygmy right whales at the Erie Peninsula. Okay. So basically, they just keep on coming back to this area, and we that's probably the only place that we know that they come back to routinely. And then they believe that they, <clears throat> excuse me, and they believe that they go off and um, go to an area that a lot of other whales go to to feed. But this is a really cool story. Let's see. They can grow up to 6.5 meters, which is like 20-something feet, I think, and weigh 3,430 kilograms, which is heavier than a large four-wheel drive. Uh, what is kilograms, that size kilograms and freedom units? I am not sure. I am not. Australian um, should keep 100 meters from whales or 50 meters from dolphins so why get closer to dolphins I don't know let's see this is a video of it oh man that is so cool oh this is the other encounter when they got them in the boats it does kind of look like a shark for a split second that's really cool oh, so this is a different video from a different Oh, this is that newly weaned male they were talking about. That's really cool. Look how cute he is. He literally just, it's just a shrunken whale. I mean, pygmy makes sense. That is really cool. I would love to see a whale one day. I mean, we have them here in Florida. We have the, I want to say, the are they right whales? I think we have the right whales off of Florida, just regular right, right whales, not the pygmy rights, obviously. But that is so cool, and he's in such shallow water. It just looks like a dolphin at this point with a weird face. That is really cool. Well. Yeah, so I guess to sum all this up, we have no idea what's out there. We don't know what kind of animals that we declared extinct that aren't, or that we've never even found. Like, there are so many species, and even something as big as a freaking, even though it's a pygmy whale, they still get over 20 feet long. And we know nothing about any of this. When I see stuff like this, it gives me hope that there are a lot of animals out there that we think are extinct, and they're just not. And I hope, and I pray, or whatever, that there are animals that, like, for instance, the um, ivory build woodpecker. As much as I would like to think that they are still out there, and I do, I mean, I lean towards they're still out there. But every single day, there are new buildings going up. Every single day, their habitat is being destroyed. And what little they had is disappearing a little bit at a time every single day. We have the same problem here in Florida. Like, there are very few places that these animals could even live, let alone escape from human interaction. But then you get animals like that live in the ocean. You get animals like whales. And as much as um, I have more hope for animals out of the water, or uh, in the water than I do out of the water. There's a layer of mystique. Yeah, we have more cameras and more people near the water and on the water than we ever have. But there are bits of the ocean that we just can't even get to. Not only not only easily, but like to actually dive down and like do work. There's so much ocean and they can move so quickly. And it's just, I don't know. I think that um, there's a good chance that there's animals out there that we not only haven't found yet but um animals that we think are extinct that are not doesn't mean i think the loch ness monster is real but um doesn't mean i think that the kraken is a thing or whatever you know i'm sure that's just folklore dead giant squid but like the um the stellar sea cow there's only been a few of them that were ever found anyway i think what they were hunted to extinction or something they haven't been seen in a while i mean they lived under near ice sheets. Like, sure, why can't there be something like that that lives in the most inhospitable areas to people and 
we just don't put enough time to find them and you know i don't know i think that has more merit to it because there's animals that we know that are around today that we know are alive that we have a hard time finding i mean there's only been five sightings of this thing in the past however many years in 2012 it was considered extinct now it's extant i mean i think we're fools to think that there aren't other animals out there so that'll do it for my video today but thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff i don't i don't know how i feel about asking for um you guys to do that because it kind of i mean i don't have a problem with other people doing it but i just feel kind of cringe so to speak these videos especially are like my I'm just chill. I'm just talking. I see something I find interesting and I talk about it. And if you guys watch, I really do appreciate that. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Also, I'm going to be setting up a my Patreon stuff today. I have one, but I never really put anything on it. So I'm going to be really pushing all of my stuff. I did get some shirts in. Um, I have my logo. If you guys want merch, let me know. Because that, I mean, I can get that kind of stuff now. Um, I definitely, as the time goes on, will get more, get some hats in, all that good stuff. And I'll, I'll try to order some of it so you guys can see it in person and have an idea of what you want. But if you guys want that stuff, let me know. Um, because this is, uh, this is something that I, I, I'm all excited about all this. I'm all in with it. And as I said, I'm going to do these daily uploads. And yesterday I missed out, I know, but... I'm going to start doing these as daily uploads, and then I'm going to uh, do one or two other, like, you know, long-form videos a week. And then I'm also going to be doing herping videos. So I got a, a mixture of content, a, something for everybody, so to speak. And I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys for watching. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. I do appreciate it. And also, what do you guys think about when I say stay wild at the end? I don't know how I feel about it. I think it, things need to come natural. And I was just trying to think of something to say. And I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.